Online overall, the biggest positive I'd say is it allows freedom for the students. Freedom to pursue jobs, internships, raise a family, uh, get out and do a, a bunch of uh, different things while still learning when they want. So it doesn't always have to be synchronous. It doesn't have to be at the same time. So you could do things at different times and it allows you to pursue a bunch more opportunities. Well, I teach some online courses regularly, but for some of my students, the most challenging thing is I have students that are working in corrections and in public safety. And during this time of a pandemic, their schedule gets a little um, hinky, as we say, uh, in, in criminal justice. I mean, the demands placed on them are, are a little bit more. So trying to accommodate those changes in schedules that some of my students are facing is probably the most challenging part. The students are interested in learning. They just they don't want to just see and hear about theories. They want to see how they are put into practice. And our students are excited about that. And we see that in, in all the activities they engage in on campus normally. So our typical student isn't just in the classroom. They're in the athletic field. They're in the, the theater, the uh, music uh, venues. They're doing all sorts of different things that they like to put into practice what they're learning. And it's that excitement that keeps, I think, most of us teachers going. I guess it would be th that it is a community, a true community. For example, when this pandemic hit and schools shut down, it took less than 24 hours for a variety of organizations, several churches, to start making sure that students that would normally in grade schools get free or reduced lunches are being fed. That happened right away. The sense of community when our football team went to national uh, uh, championships, we had K-State Polytechnic cheering on Wesleyan students, and that we have Wesleyan students taking classes at K-State Polytechnic. So I guess it's what excites me the most, and I think the best thing about our community, it's a true community. I would probably say um, Waters uh, Hardware Store. It's a uh, locally owned, a regional hardware store. I mean, you'll find a branch of it in like Junction City in Manhattan. And what I like about it is number one, more of my dollars are staying in the community when I spend money there. But also it's the service you get when you walk in there. I'm one of these people that when I walk into a hardware store, I'm not even sure what part I'm trying to replace, let alone how to do that. And when I walk into Waters, I know I'm going to get that service and personal attention that this is not the part you need, you need this, or this project's beyond you. And I, I really appreciate that kind of service and, and response. Let's see, it would be the library at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. First of all, it, it looks like a cathedral, but it's lined with books and statues of famous academic types. So to me, it's almost like a holy shrine to learning. You feel that sense of sacred when you walk in and it's all about education. 